Hi there, welcome to the latest AI video from Google Cloud. Today, we're gonna take a look at how to integrate generative AI into our applications without requiring much setup. Generative AI App Builder allows you to create applications focused around search and chat experiences with minimal coding required. This video will focus on how to bring the power of search to your applications. One of the most challenging problems to solve for an organization can be discoverability of information. Many times, data will be scattered across a bunch of different sources. Some might be in docs, some might be in databases, others in web pages. This makes it difficult for employees and customers to find just what they're looking for, whether it be internal data or on a public site. Let's get started by looking at the onboarding experience. One of the useful features of Gen App Builder is its ease of use for developers. We'll go through the process of setting up a basic search engine for a public website, structured data, and unstructured data. First, you go to the Generative AI App Builder section in the Google Cloud Console. Then you enable the API. Then you select Create a Search Engine. Then you give it a name and choose the data type. Let's go through the website process first. After our search engine has been created, we just need to add the sites we want to include. If we open the Advanced view, then we can exclude certain sites as well. For this example, let's search over the Google Cloud website, cloud.google.com. After setting the website, we now have a view of the URLs included in our search engine. You can also add more websites if you want. And just that fast, the search engine has already indexed our website. We can now click on Preview Search to try it out. The Preview page lets you try out your search engine in a browser. You can select a desktop or mobile view. A search for another Google Cloud product, Document AI, shows lots of relevant results for the product. We can also look for more detailed information, like how to handle nested entities with Document AI. Now, let's go back and create a new search engine, this time for structured data. You can import the data from cloud storage in a structured format like JSON or from a BigQuery table. Let's import data from BigQuery. We'll use a public data set of movies that can be found on Kaggle. Importing the data requires very little setup because the tool will figure out the schema for you. You just yeet the data in and it'll work. Once it finishes importing, we can test this search engine out just like the previous one. The process for unstructured data works pretty similar to structured data. Unstructured data doesn't follow a schema. Usually this will be in the form of documents like PDFs. You create a search engine for unstructured data, then you can import files from cloud storage. In this case, I'm importing alphabet earnings reports. Once they're imported, you can search through the files to find specific information. Now, we've explored the main types of search engines. Let's see how we can use them in our applications. If we go to the integration pane, the console provides simple ways to integrate this new search engine into an application. You can go to the API tab to get pre-written API calls and code samples to integrate this into server applications or build your own UI. Or you can copy paste the HTML code in the widget tab to embed this directly into your website. Going to the configure menu from this page takes you to the widget settings where you can configure autocomplete among other features for your search engine widget. For structured data, we can also control more specific settings, such as the fields that are shown in the widget, like movie title, description, ratings, and add a thumbnail image. The analytics page provides aggregate metrics for the search engine, including session information, click-through rate, top queries, and devices. As we've discussed, Enterprise Search gives you an out-of-the-box developer experience. Whether it's web pages, tabular data, or documents like PDF files, you can just bring them in. Enterprise Search automatically builds the schema and search index for your data with a simple UI flow. If you're super excited to get started, go to the Trusted Testers page on the Google Cloud website to apply for early access. Once you have access, you can follow the guide linked in the description to get started building your first search engine. Generative AI App Builder will be publicly available later this year. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for our next video about generative AI.